All right, hello everyone again. I uh, just had a great time on my vacation to the beach and glad to be back and doing videos again. This is the 25th hired request of my current list, Ben Folds. Um, name of it, not the same. Ben Folds, not the same. It's the live version, and that seems to be what people like to hire me to do is live versions that have lots of cool piano parts in them that the album versions don't have sometimes. Um, <clears throat> So let's listen to this. Not the same. Ben Fold's not the same. There's a video on YouTube of it. There's also, you know, iTunes, Amazon, all that. They have it too. But let's listen to it. And then the verse will start there. The singing. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube for the last seven years. And the rest of the lessons for this uh, song, as well as thousands of other videos, are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. Works on iPad, iPhone, all mobile devices. Those of you who like that sort of thing. Um, my other website, SeanCheek.com, teaches you how to sight read real piano music. There aren't any popular songs on there, but they're my own stuff uh, that I wrote. And you have PDF files on SeanCheek.com where you can download the music that I wrote for you to learn how to sight read better. If you want to learn how to sight read like a mad dog, um, that's, that's where to do it. Um, <clears throat> so those are my two websites, Facebook is the best place to see what I'm up to. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com. Make sure to like the, the fans page so you know when I put a new video up or post a status. Um, let's get going here with this free part one. And I just, you know, a thanks to all of you who subscribed to my website. I know there are a lot of people who, uh, you know, just watch on YouTube and never buy anything, but those of you who support me make this uh, possible for, for me to uh, you know, make a living at it. So thank you very much. E, G, C is one, two, five, and uh, it's a C chord, of course, and we're going to do five of those. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're just going to do the E and the G, the one and the two of it by itself. Then we're going to go back to the full chord, E, G, C with one, two, five, and then we're going to go D, G, B. That looks like it's a flat almost, but it's a number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are no B flats in the whole thing, so, you know, no B flat. Then we're going to go D, G, A. So we change the soprano note to an A with one, two, three. And then we go back to D, G, B, and we'll hold it. Now, i got the left hand vamping on a C octave. Uh, and it's this C octave. It's middle C on the thumb and C on the pinky. And we're going to kind of just keep it going like this. We play the octave, but then just the thumb a little bit. not too heavy okay so just don't 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 do this okay it's just with the pedal put the right hand here and we have one two three four five four, five, four, five, four, five. now you may play that and go oh, my mind doesn't sound like uh, the way Sean's doing it if you play it this way sounds like a robot you don't want to sound like that you want to Some notes, you, some chords you want to accent a little bit, and the others you want to be softer. The uh, balance is what's missing, okay? The balance, that's so important. The notes are important, the rhythms are important. You have to have both of those things working together, the notes and the correct notes and the rhythm, the timing. But the third thing people often forget is the balance, and that is the dynamic contrast between not only the left and the right hand, but between the, the chords that you're playing in the right hand chord to chord and, and within that chord. So one, two, three. So I play the first one kind of loud. One, two, three, four, five. Then I play this one kind of loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. See the difference in dynamic in there? All right, let's move on. F, A flat, D. Now you may have to play it the way I did it the first time if you're a beginner and you're just trying to hang on and get started. That's okay. 
that's all right but tr but remember there's more to it than that and uh, when you're ready you can try some dynamic F A flat D all right five times say oh what chord is that well that's a minor four um, add six <laughs> it's an F minor F A flat C you say well where's the C well it's in the left hand if you want to look at it that way uh, and the D is in the top here and that's a, a six if you add a six all right, you could also look at it as a, a D half diminished, but let's not let's not even do that. Let's just call it a minor four with a with a six with a D. People seem to understand that. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna change the D to a C, F A flat C, and then A F A flat D, and then G C E two times, and then E G C two times, and then E G two times, and then E G C two times, and then E G. <laughs> So if we have one, two, three, four, five, nine, eight, four, two, three, four, we do it again even slower. Here we go. Now the dynamics, I'm gonna hit the first one loud. One, two, three, four, five, nine, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So the first one you wanna hit kinda of hard. And, and especially when you change a chord, you want to hit the first one of that hard. Okay? So let's put these two boxes together and go. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Notice I held that one. I can't remember if I if I told you that or not. That one's kind of held. One, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, ba ba. See how I held that? Let me make sure that you understand that. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now this is very similar, the rest of this. Um, but it's heavier, and the left hand goes down to this C octave. So move down to this C octave, and we're going to do this. to it. E, G, C, E, five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then the E and the G with the one and two. And, and the fingering for that is one, two, four, five. Learn to use your four. Don't always just put your three and make it a super stretch. That's hard. Learn to use your fourth finger. One, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then E, G, C. And then D, G, B six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. D, G, A with one, two, three. Back to D, G, B with one, two, four. And he may actually hit that DGB again instead of just holding it. Uh, so you can either play that one two times or just hold it. But the left hand's down here. So right here we have one, two, three, four, five. And we move on. Um, so we still have the C down there in the left hand. I don't have that written, but it's understood. C there. Okay. <laughs> we call that a pedal. Whenever you just have a a low note that just sustains while the right hand's changing on the top. It's called a pedal note. Alright, F A D flat. Uh, like before, one, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna hold it on that fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. And then you move on, F A flat C one time. And then G C E two times. And then E G C two times. And then E G two times. And then EGC two times, and then EG one time. But you want to hear that melody on the top. One, two, three, four, five, C, E, C, G, C. So see how I hit the first one of the each group of two a little harder? One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, Now the pedal, you need to change it every time the chord changes. Um, like right here, you have a C chord. As soon as you go to that chord, you've got to change your pedal and put it back down so you don't catch the C chord mixing in with that G chord. All right, so um, make sure your pedal changes. So let's put these two boxes together and go. All right, now this box starts the verse where the singing starts, and that we cover that. 
in all of the rest of the lessons that are on my website with pianoteacher.com. So please uh, enjoy a membership if you uh, have an inkling to do that. I've, you know, must be good for people because I've been in business for seven years and can continuing on with thousands of videos. So give it a try. If this part one works for you, uh, give it a try. See if you like it. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll talk to you later.